JG, it, it seemed like you weren't quite at full strength in that Tampa series. Can you tell us what's what went wrong, and is there something that's going to linger into the offseason for you or require any uh, procedures? Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I was a little banged up. I think uh, everyone is at this point. Um, it's not easy. You play games every two days, and uh, – uh, you don't have a lot of time to to recover uh, in between the games. So obviously, I think everyone was uh, a little banged up, including myself. And uh, we'll see what's going to be next in uh, the next few days. Sure. And uh, JG, just, um, you know, you came into this club and, and a lot has changed since you got here, whatever, 15, 16 months ago. And, and can you kind of just put into words what these last two runs have meant and, and how close you think this team is to, to getting over the top there? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's like, it's, it sucks how it finished. Um, at the end of the day, we, uh, we had a great run again. And uh, I think we uh, were able to uh, create an identity or a, a culture um, to, to, to make the Islanders were a tough team to play against. And uh, if you're going to play us, uh, it's going to hurt, hurt, and it's going to be tough to beat us. And uh, I, I think we've done a, a good job of creating that identity this year again. Brian Compton, NHL.com. Hey, guys. Uh, Ryan, what can you say about the strides that, that you and, and Adam made again this season? And just how is it extra difficult this time around just because of all the uncertainty with contracts and certain guys might not be back? Thank you. Um, yeah. I mean, for us, um, you know, I think we obviously try to get better and better every single year and, you know, continue to take steps. And I think, um, you know, as, as we have grown together here, I think, you know, we've been able to kind of keep improving our game and, you know, I just think for, for Adam's game, I think, he was un un unbelievable this year um, and obviously makes it easier for, for me to play when, when I'm playing with him. So, um, yeah, I, I think uh, obviously took it, took another step and something that we're going to continue to, you know, try to grow our game and um, help this team. And uh, yeah, it's, it, um, I mean, you, you never know when, when you go through runs like that, you know, the team's never going to be the exact same the next year. And, um, you know, I think that's what is a challenge at sometimes is, you know, understanding that because you, you get along with this group and everyone's so tight. And, and when you go through, um, you know, the emotional kind of roller coaster of the, of a playoff run like that, and you, you know, grow so many bonds with people and it's tough when, um, you know, you kind of know that it's not going to be the exact same. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, just, uh, I was going to ask something else, but just to follow up on that, when, when one of the, the guys, you know, who's up for a contract is a guy like Casey Sezikis, who is such a, a heart and soul, you know, and, and did, been such a, a big part of this identity does, does that make it a little tougher, the, the uncertainty into the offseason? Um, I mean, yeah, I think every year there's, you know, key guys um, that contracts are up. Um, but um, he, he's definitely a heart and soul guy. And, you know, he's been here and he's been part of that identity here. Um, so, yeah, but, I mean, you know, it's – doesn't mean he's not coming back it's just um you know his contract's up and there's there is a lot of uncertainty this year i mean you know there's expansion draft and other things going on so i mean it's all going to play itself out but as we sit here right now i mean who knows right Go ahead. And just for for either one of you 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 know you've been back to the same spot two years in a row and you know how much you know, expenditure of energy it takes to get there. Is it a little bit overwhelming now thinking about next season right now? Um, or like, are, are you guys, you know, just itching at the bit to, to restart 
just knowing you know how good the group is yeah uh i mean it's it's all right i think mentally uh physically and mentally uh it, it drains a lot out of you uh those long runs um i think everyone's gonna probably need some time just to disconnect uh a little bit uh with aki uh but knowing that group of guys uh with the character there is and uh, how competitive everyone is uh i know everyone's gonna show up and just want more again uh, i mean we were right there uh we could taste it almost so it's it's something uh, i think that drives us as hockey players as it's something in us uh that that we have that we always want more so i'm sure that'll be the uh, the goal uh, again uh, set next year is to to make it even farther. For JG, since the you know since the season's over now, is, is there anything that you're willing or able to share with us in more detail about you know what was bothering you and whether it might need surgery? Uh, I'll try to. I, I would rather keep it personally personal. Uh, but there's obviously. Uh, little stuff but nothing uh uh different than some other guys i mean like i said earlier everyone is banged up at this point of, of the year uh we play every two days no no room for recovery so uh, uh yeah so we'll, we'll see in the next couple of days what's gonna happen Arthur Staple, his letter. ryan uh you know even with game seven being so fresh do you have uh room right now to think about the last couple games at the Coliseum and, and the way that the fans were and your play and then Bo with the winner and the, the crazy beer can shower at the end. Is that kind of put a smile on your face after all your years playing there? I mean, yeah, it kind of gives you chills actually when, when you, when you ask that question. Um, I think those are some memories that I think we'll all remember probably for the rest of our lives really was you know a couple of those moments um i think the fans will too but obviously they're the reason that it was so special and um you know, i think a lot has gone on in the last year with the pandemic and you know i think to get fans back in the building um to start with and then being able to you know fill that place up i think it was it was so special to see and you know be a part of and you know, to have big moments like that um, on home ice um, in that building in front of our fans um, was special and something that we'll, you know, always remember for sure. Back to Andrew Rose. Uh, sort of a, a projection question, but if things keep progressing the way they are, you know, with, with, with COVID and uh, easing of restrictions. Have you wrapped your minds around what it might be like uh, after all this time to play a regular 82 game season where you can hang out on the road, you can be in each other's rooms, you can go out to dinner together, you know, families can hang out together to just, you know, go through a season that's normal again, which is, which is something probably everyone took for granted up until 15, 16 months ago. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, obviously we hope, you know, for just the sake of the world and you know, what's going on that, that that's the case. Um, obviously things are obviously looking a lot better and I mean, for the whole, you know, 82 game season and that, I mean, not putting a whole lot of thought into that right now, but, um, I think, that that definitely helps you know just your well-being throughout a season um of just being able to spend some time you know away from the rink with each other and just kind of have more freedom like that it, it kind of i think it helps you a little bit mentally um so i mean yeah hopefully that uh, you know come next year that you know everything's pretty clear in that aspect Thank you.